Do you ever feel like your bike doesn't fit you very well? Well, then this is the video for you. Stay tuned. Hi, fellow cyclists. I'm Corey. And I'm Ainsley, and we're chiropractic interns at CMCC. And this is a general video for bike fit. Injuries with cycling are very common in both elite and recreational bikers. These injuries can be classified as traumatic injuries, bicycle contact injuries, and overuse injuries. We will not cover traumatic injuries in this presentation. Overuse injuries are typically caused by improper biking mechanics, issues with equipment and training, as well as repetitive loading. Lack of adequate recovery time between rides is also a very common cause of overuse injuries. When studies looked at touring bicycle riders, they found that those who biked less than 42 kilometers per week compared to those that biked over 161 kilometers per week were more likely to get injuries. Some common overuse injuries in cycling include knee pain, hip pain, Achilles tendinopathy, and neck and back pain. This video will not cover neck and back pain as our colleagues will be doing that for you in other videos. All of those injuries I mentioned are typically influenced by bike fit. For instance, for knee pain, having the saddle too low may put too much stress at the front of the knee, whereas if it's too high, you may have too much stress at the back of the knee, leading to pain. If the saddle is too far forward, it may have the knee in too much flexion, leading to too many forces on the front of the knee. Having the saddle too far back may cause the rider to have to reach further with their leg to the pedal, and that can stretch the IT band. Similarly, having too much internal or external tibial rotation can cause pain on the opposite side of the knee as well. Both iliopsoas tendonitis and greater trochanteric pain syndrome can be caused by having the saddle too high. If the saddle is too high, there is more stretch in the IT band which connects to the TFL at the side of your hip, and this can lead to repetitive sliding of this muscle over the greater trochanter while riding. Lastly, having the saddle too low can lead to excessive stretch of the Achilles tendon, causing Achilles tendinopathy. So when we talk about seat height or saddle height, we're talking about how high the saddle is on the bike. One of the ways that you can get a general idea of how to first set your saddle height is use your hip bone or your greater trochanter, which you feel just at the side of your hip, and line it up with the saddle. So the next way that you can assess your seat height is to get on the bike. It's better if you have a stand, but for now I'm going to use Corey. And then put your pedal down to the six o'clock position, which is straight down. In this position, with your foot on the pedal, you should have about a 25 to 30 degree angle of your knee. Another way you can assess this is if you fully extend your knee, then your heel should drop below the pedal. If you're not able to drop your, your heel below the pedal, then you need to lower your seat. When you're pedaling and you start shifting back and forth on the saddle, that can indicate that your saddle is too high because you have to reach further to get to the pedal. So if that is happening to you, lower your saddle a little bit. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the saddle fore aft position. So essentially how far forward or how far backward the saddle is. One way to assess this is you can take a plumb line, which is anything, a string with a, a weight on the end of it, and you're going to have your pedal at the three o'clock position and place the plumb line at the patella or your kneecap. It should fall through the ball of your foot and then through the spindle of the pedal. So as you can see right now on this bike, it's actually a little bit too far forward. So we would have to move it back. One thing with moving the seat forward or backwards is that you will also be adjusting the height of the, the saddle as well. Thank you so much for watching our video. And we hope that you got some information from this to help you out on your bike ride. If you're looking to get a more detailed fit, definitely look into a local bike shop where they can make time for you to do a more in-depth look at uh, your setup for your bike, your sizing, and what works best for you. So uh, speaking of that, I need to go get a new bike.